Now, Hannah, the reason I got you this balloon is to show you that sometimes love can be a real balancing act. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing, sweetheart. I got you some candy for my one and only wink wink. Ooh. You know what that's that means. very accurate. You know what that means. <laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by John from ARTV, my lovely boyfriend. Aww. And today we have a special video for you guys. It's Valentine's Day related because today, of course, is Valentine's Day. And so basically what we're going to be doing is talking about some songs that basically remind us of each other and are kind of considered to be our songs, like lovey dovey type stuff and that sort of thing. I got the original intention of this video wrong and made a 45 song right. playlist with all songs that reminded me of her, not knowing that this needed to be super lovey, but it is Valentine's oh, Day, so that makes sense. That makes sense. You're, wearing, you're dressed I, for it. Well, both of us clearly are dressed for it. Like yes. Skulls. You know? Skulls and pink. That says a lot. Anyways, there is no video on John's channel because he did not want to do one on his channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just enjoy. Make sure to leave a like on the video and there's a lot to get through here. So let's just get into this. So the very first song on our playlist here today is Sex by the 1975. And this was applicable to us, I think, for a myriad of different reasons. Yeah. And it was, I think, in the initial stages, us just kind of thinking there were too many barriers to get through for us to like, ever work. way before we were like actually dating or anything. Right. Um, we were, I guess, like a thing for a few months. Um, and this was definitely one of those songs that was like, super relatable um if you take a look at the lyrics um but yeah like it's still like one of my all-time favorites by the 1975 and it me always too. reminds me of like those days and that time for sure it actually is my favorite song yeah it's my them. favorite too yeah. <laughs> so ep version not the album um, version you're the album version i like the ep version better but still the lyrics are the same yeah and i don't know that song definitely does make me think back fondly on those times just because even though they were confusing times it was still something that i wouldn't trade the outcome was really good so. <laughs> tell me why do you have to have such a damn good taste in so next up we have Lose It by Swimmers, and I've talked about this song before, but I just wanted to talk about it again because it's literally so spot on when it comes to us. It's basically about like kind of falling in love with somebody and just you can't get over it because like it makes it even worse that you can't be with them because they have like the best music taste ever <laughs> and you can see that in the lyrics and this was one that came out kind of not that long after we started like, we talking were, yeah. they released like they re-released the album with the bonus right. tracks and, and that was one of them and i was like Oh my god, it literally could have been written by me. And the glasses get pulled down and she's looking close and like, oh, hey, hey John. <laughs> Why you got that good taste in music though? Up next we have Parachute by Neck Deep, the overseas pop punk heroes. I don't know why I said heroes. <laughs> well true yeah this is also one that i think i just want to mention is also kind of underrated yeah in my it, opinion. i think it's underrated i think that a lot of people kind of even though it was one of the singles people kind of like i don't know they kind of passed it on it yeah they got a music video oh uh, no, i'm out of the loop <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but why does this one make you think of us because it's like a whole fail safe type thing it's like kind of yeah. like to me it's like i got your back you know right. like i'll be it's your like parachute yeah other. like that whole chorus on that one is basically talking about some of the rough times that I think someone's been through, whether it be depression, anxiety, whatever else. And to me, it just kind of says, I got your back. A lot of these songs, I think we kind of take on our own meanings to them. Yeah. Just because they are, you know, whatever they are about. But I think people obviously interpret them different ways. And that's just how this one hits me. Swim, 
So this next pick is called Aqua Sun by Basement. Still a song that I'm yelling at you guys to go listen to because it is so underrated Do and it. this band are so good. But that's besides the point. This is like one of the first songs I ever like recommended to John like really really early on when we started talking. I like told him to listen to it and we both like would play this all the time together in the beginning. So that's always one that makes us think of each other and also the lyrics in this one are really relatable. Die into me and, it, and like, I'll meet you on the water there yeah so yeah. it's just kind of like being far apart too right. and it, like kind of doubting it also. basically we're kind of like separated whether it be a body of water or we're a massive land yeah, like with us it's, it's just there's it's, something between us but we can overcome it somehow I'll meet you there yeah, someday you know? so that's like really special and honestly like that kind of got its meeting a little bit later for me too. right it didn't hit and you I was right like, at wow first. this actually makes a lot of sense at first it was just a song that we both loved yeah. but then we I think we paid more attention Later to the lyrics on. and I think for me my specific memory that I have tied to this is right here in this living room yeah. that we're sitting in right now I came home from work just exhausted and you would tell you had texted me right before that telling me about the song mm -hmm. and I came home and I played it on this TV like yeah. I, I went and searched it on YouTube and played it right there and I remember texting you and being like yep. this kicks ass I love you so much that it hurts my head Say I don't mind you under my skin I let the bad parts in, the bad parts in Getting very personal here for a minute, this song <laughs> has v very intricate connections to our personal life, our relationship, a lot of meaning behind it because the song means whatever it means. Take the lyrics apart, uh, whatever. But to us, I think it means and kind of evolved into something else. De Gausser by Brand New is this song where there's very intense feelings and emotions oh, yeah. going on. It's it's dark. It explores kind of sadness, I feel, I feel like, in a way, because not knowing exactly maybe where you stand because you have these intense feelings or where they're going. It's like being unsure, right. too, and that's like kind of what we were feeling in a way. Right. Um, and this song just obviously is very emotional. Right. And a quick little story, this is uh, one of like the first songs that we were listening to together. And when I first came to visit The him, first time ever. Uh, we were listening to that record, I think, on vinyl, weren't we? Yeah. And, and laying right in here again. That, when that song came up, we were just sitting here in the dark, like laying on the couch. Like that was all we were doing, just sitting there listening to it. And uh, <laughs> that song just like always opens up like so many emotions. Emotions, yeah. And especially back then, um, because we didn't really know how we were going to continue we, we making dating, things work. Yeah, like we were huh? dating, but you know how it is like really early in a relationship. It's not like super serious yet. Uh, but this is the song that I literally was like this close from telling him I loved him the first time. So it's really special. It happened that day, I think. The it happened day. the next day. Or the next, yeah, the next, next day. day. I said it first anyways, but, but uh, she almost said I was it. literally about to say it because that song just like, oh my god. I could tell. I could feel your energy. Like you, yeah, want, you wanted I it. Like, I literally like was in conversation and trying to tell you, but I was like, I don't want to be weird. <laughs> so it's so, I, so then, therefore I got to be weird the next yeah. day when I dropped it. It also has a couple of lyrics in there that I really, really like and found to be pretty relatable and applicable to us. Me too. Um, the, one of them obviously being, I love you so much that it hurts my head. And take apart your head, that take one. Me, right take now. me back to your bed. Yeah. Just like feeling like apart from each other. Because we had just started this long distance relationship and it was very, it was, it's hard, you know? Right. Um, so this is one of those songs that kind of got us through that. I only wanna talk to you. I only wanna talk to you now. I only wanna talk to to you. I only wanna talk to you by the main is the next one that I picked out. Um, this one pretty much says it all. The title, yeah, but, uh... <laughs> exactly. Because we're kind of doing these songs in order for this whole video and playlist here in the sense that like we're showing kind of evolution progression and of progressions relationship. within the relationship exactly and I only want to talk to you obviously is I think a show of dedication like where it was like all right it's well, like confirming that, that like, we're the only this is my person right know? basically saying like all right like nobody else is on the table it's just right me and it's you. like no matter how who you hang out with or whatever like at the end of the day it's i like, need i, I want to come back to you i want to come I back wanna, to you i want to like end my night with you i want to talk to you so right. it's the, kind of and like during those times too i think the line uh the only thing i'm really sure of is i'm un unsure of 
almost everything. Yeah. That one, uh, too, was... Even though this song came out later, it makes me yeah, think back. Yeah, it makes back. you think back. It makes me think back to that time. And just realizing, I think, because at first, like, there were so many reasons where I would be like, ah, it's not gonna work, or mm -hmm. I don't know how this is gonna work long distance, what am I doing? But this, I think, reminds me of, like, how I just, I, I, I felt the reason why I wanted to kind of keep coming back, because you were my person. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a smile that can light the room like yours. It's a new ray and it's a more you Had Me At Hello by A Day To Remember is a very old song and this is one that I obviously discovered like long long ago Me too. Um, but this is another one that just kind of reminds you of that person as well like even later on um, it's just kind of a cutesy little song like a love song it's pretty simple and I don't know it's always one that I just I really liked and I could never really relate it to any of my relationships until now so that says a lot but uh there's like a I think there's a line in this song that says would it be okay would it be okay if I took your breath away so it's kind of like can we take this risk together not took breath it. took it take the breath right away she lives, she Hannah argued with me on this pick for it making no. the list. You were like, why is this one here? Because well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's not as familiar with the song as I am. And it's a nice short little song, beautifully unconventional. You need to remind me of like, what are the lyrics actually saying? Hannah, she lives, she breathes, she's beautifully unconventional. Smart, snappy, quick. It's very relatable because it literally says, Hannah. And what's your name again, sweetie? I forgot. Oh. You don't know? Call it out to them real quick. What's your name? Sweetie? Since Hannah forgot, her name is Hannah, so therefore the song is extremely relatable. And I just like the very pleasurable feel that this one gives. It's light, it's breezy, it's only like 2 minutes and 15 seconds long, and it just goes down smooth, and it makes me think of somebody. That's also kind of crazy because this was our first date going to see this band and then like to have them put out another album and have that song on it is kind of crazy. Yep, yep. Wolf Alice are all about some like relating to like anniversaries, first dates. Like their last album came out on my channel's anniversary. Wow. So all about it. Thank you, Wolf Alice. Thank you. Another kind of cute song that I picked out here in the playlist. Very exciting. Um, it's Nightlight Girl by Turnover, a band that she got me into. I got into Peripheral Vision and obviously checked out. Uh, is it? Good it's better. Nature. Good. I almost said Better Nature. That's the Silver Sun pickups album. Um, oh my god. Good Nature by Turnover, and I really like the album even more than probably Peripheral Vision. That's just me though. I loved the. Kind of positive, breezy, breezy. yeah, just it's a nice, so much happier too. It's kind of a summer flavor to it, honestly. And I picked out this track, "Nightlight Girl," because it reminds me of you and just those days when, you know, you're struggling to love yourself and you need a little bit of extra, like a little bit of an extra push, reminding you. Like it, it just kind of has. A little bit of a sensual feel to it with the things that it talks about, but it says in the chorus. But it's all about like the inside of the person. Right, and he says on the at the end of the chorus, "I'll show you what it's like to be loved if you can't do it for yourself." I love that one. So I found, I, I, as soon as I heard that, I knew that she'd be all over it. And me. You said I also picked this song from the XX. This is off of their last album, I See You. Uh, this one is called Say Something Loving. And I showed this one to you yeah. very early on. I remember I played it for you and I pulled up the lyrics and I said, read along with it, just to see. And she was like, yeah, this is like, so like either me or us in yeah, a way. Yeah, refresh my memory on It's that. talking about like needing to be reminded of love because not everybody just automatically knows that they're loved every single yeah. day or all the time. And it's like, say something loving. I can't quite remember like what it feels like and like I need to be reminded of these things. So that's just why I feel like it related to us because 
especially like I've seen you go a lot more confident even in recent days and but the I think like the first year we were together like seeing you grow it reminded me of the times when you needed that extra little pick me up yeah. you know like 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 I know that you love me but like my mind think, says that I don't know so and it's that's refresh also me. difficult because of like the distance and stuff like if you're not seeing that person every day or even talking to them that much every day it's kind of hard to like you know, feel the same as you would if we're always together, together, so. If only I could ever be was the best, best of Somehow it landed on four picks of mine in a row. I don't know how that worked out, but we're, like I said, trying to do this kind of in order yeah. as it progressed. But uh, I picked Surrender by Walk the Moon off of What If Nothing. Um, this one to me, talks about somebody who can't stay because something is pulling them away like I can't stay one more hour one more night yeah. and uh, this is the moment I surrender he sings on this one but it's I think for me coming to terms surrendering accepting the fact that we're in this long-distance relationship and like you know, this is the moment where I realize that even though I've got to go right now, it doesn't mean anything because it's not know, ending. Right? right, it's not ending. It's the moment that I say, okay, like I continue to Til be okay time. with this. Even the times I would say, even like a year, year and a half into a relationship, it's something where you feel like that sometimes, but you just have to kind of give up that feeling and know that the Push next, the, the next time that you'll see each other is coming again very soon. Maybe that could be our thing. What do you think? I'm talking to young lovers and half price trade. So this next one is one of my recent favorites. It's by The Front Bottoms. It's called 2YL, standing for Two Young Lovers. And this song is just very fun and upbeat. They did not play it live when we saw them. I wish they would have because it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, it's just super cute and uh, just talks about like letting loose with each other, like dancing out somewhere, getting drunk. Like it's a little bit sexual too, but I don't know. It's just, it's really cute. And like I said, it's very happy. It just like puts you in a good mood. Um, and I think there's also a line, it says, I could fight the rain clouds in your life every day, every night. And I just think that's super, like, applicable to us just because, like, we're there for each other and, like, we bring each other up and just right. try and, to... Right, like, if we're, like, down and kind of, like, dealing with yeah. depression or something, it's... then it's easy for us to lift each other up. Yeah, so that's one that I always really, really love. Yeah, and it reminds you of all the times that I, like, got drunk and danced in the living room. Yeah. No one's gonna love me more than I. My next pick is a big one, just because this one I just feel like has a lot of impact. It's called, uh, it, well it's by Band of Horses, and it's No One's Gonna Love You. I've always really liked this song. Um, this is one that I think reminds me of like somebody who was mistreated in the past and dealt with a lot of different things and they think that somebody's maybe going to leave or maybe things wouldn't work out or something they're just going to get done the exact same way that somebody did something to them in the past and this one is saying like to me at least like all of this outpouring like the, everything that i can give you just wait and see no one's gonna love you more than i do Uh, next up we have Opera House by Cigarettes After Sex. This came out just last year and I think this is one that both of us really liked from that record. Mm -hmm. It's very slow, just like that whole album. It's very like intimate. Atmospheric in yeah. a way. Like you just kind of like it's really like have to, yeah, you just need to like put your headphones on and turn off the lights. Yeah, to that's it. exactly how you need to listen to it. But uh, this one is kind of obvious if you look at the lyrics. It says like, I was meant to love you and just that sort of idea of like feeling like you're with like literally the person that, that you're, you're meant your to be soulmate. with yeah. yeah the person that you're meant to be with and, and uh that's something that obviously the longer we're together like we just feel more strongly about so this song like came out at like the perfect time you right know? just kind of like concrete evidence of things that we think yeah if I lose it Of course, we had to include one that we have a freaking poster of because that's how much it is, our song. And yeah. this one day is going to be played at the wedding. Oh. Last Night on Earth by Green Day, 
obviously you know we got to find a way to shoehorn Green Day into the relationship. <laughs> so we made it this. It really is perfect. It really is. Last night on Earth, 21st century breakdown. Um, I think, uh, sorry, I just, uh, <laughs> Sorry. Like, you know how it says, like, I, he sent a postcard? Long like, distance, that back reminds and forth. me of when we used to write letters. Like, not that we don't anymore, but, like, we used to, like, a lot with right. letters. So. More regularly when we didn't see each other yeah. as much. So. so, like, that's one reference there. And then, obviously, just, like, having trust in each other. Like, you were my person again. And like, to me, I'll it's... come back to you. Right. And to me, it says, like, even if, like... For example, the house burned down, we lost everything. Like we as long still as we're both other. still alive, then that's all we need. Right. I don't want this to be a this is us situation though. You do do not send me back in here for something and I don't I wanna die. I would not send you back in for anything. You're gonna be like, Sean, can you please you please fucking... please grab the Pop Tarts? Don't you dare even please. make that joke that show ripped my heart out. <laughs> So last but not least is one that literally makes me cry now. Um, back when it came out, it didn't, but it really hits me now. It's The End of All Things by Panic! at the Disco off of Too Weird. And this is obviously the song that he wrote for his now wife. It was actually their vows, her, his vows to her. So um, that's like really special. And if you just read the song, it's really simple and it's kind of short but it's so emotional. And I love the line in particular that says, whether near or far, I am always yours. And that just always gets me. And just the way he sounds in that song just really makes me like. It's a really nice song. And I don't think it's one that I obviously appreciated when it came out me at either. first because I didn't really like. Relate to it. I didn't relate much. to it. I didn't have anything to apply it to. So I was just like, oh, a nice song for his wife. It's their wedding vows, cool. And then I didn't listen to it. But now, that especially since you brought it to my attention, of course, yeah. now I definitely see where you're coming from and why this yeah. one is so impactful. It's another one that has to be at the wedding. Oh yeah, that's the one that... That's the one that I'm literally gonna bawl my eyes out to. So maybe we'll play that one last. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so those were 16 songs that uh, I guess remind us of each other. Yeah, Hannah made me cut it down from 45. <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, I have all of these ready to go. Shut up. Anyways, guys, make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. Um, and if you could think of any songs that maybe remind you of us, let us know in the comment section. We were taking more. Like, please give us more. Hannah's got a playlist brewing. <laughs> I do. But um, anyways, happy Valentine's Day. It's not that deep, so don't be one of those people that posts, like, all miserable because you're single because it's really not that big of a deal. Um, Valentine's Day is a holiday created by Hallmark Cards in 1947 because, That was no. probably literally you before you were dating me, though. Maybe. Maybe.